Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we check out the FX100 guitar processor from Flama. For a long time in the digital realm of guitar processors and amp modelers, you had the, what I like to call, like the top 5% or the top 10% and then everything else. And the top 10% were the ones that sounded good, had good features and that felt good while playing that. Well, that 10% is quickly becoming a wider and wider number and the less expensive processors are catching up with the very expensive processors really, really quickly as the years go by. Enter the FX100 from Flama. Now, Flama is a relative newcomer to the digital processing world. They have sent me this FX100 to check out. I said yes, because this thing is 150 bucks. Well, technically it's $148, which I thought was really, really intriguing. And I had to check it out to see just what it sounded like. Now the FX100 has 55 different classic and modern high gain amplifiers, as well as nine different effect types with 151 total effects and 26 user slots that you can put your own third party or favorite IRs, impulse responses to use instead of the built in cabinet models if you so choose. Now on the back of the FX100, you will also find uh, an auxiliary input for uh, plugging in some kind of an MP3 player or hooking up your phone to play along to. With the tracks, you will also find, of course, a guitar input, a left and right quarter inch output, as well as a headphone out and a, a USB port and an OTG, which means on the go. And you can do uh, recording with your phone and interface your phone with the FX100, which I thought was a pretty cool feature. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of dive into this thing a little bit and see what kind of tones there are. I'm gonna use a Gibson Les Paul standard. I will be going straight into my Universal Audio Apollo 8 interface and all the tones you will be hearing are in the box, i.e. I am not going into an amplifier and using this as just for effects. Everything you're hearing is coming out of the effects 100. So let's do a little bit of a playthrough. All right, so we are on the very first preset and I have three dials. I have the mode, the value, and the master volume, along with an expression pedal and a tuner looper foot switch that also double as a navigation to go up and down for the different patches. Patch number one sounds like this. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that in. So now my mode, notice the LED will get brighter. If I just go back to play, it'll dim. But when I hit mode, I'll just turn it and it will start with the effects and then it'll scroll through and that's how we know what we're in for the window. So DS distortion, if we want to go to the amp, we now have the controls for the amp. We can go to the cab. We have the noise gate, which is not currently on. We have some additional EQ. We have the mod block, delay, and then a reverb. Now, if we go back to play in the top right corner, we'll notice that the little expression pedal dial is telling us that it's controlling the amp volume. So if I do this. <laughs> controlling uh, the amp gain, I believe. Let's go back to play. We can control what the uh, expression pedal does at any time by just clicking on the expression button and then selecting what we want the function to do. I'm gonna get back out of that and we're just gonna play around with some patches. <laughs>
I don't like the delay. So I'm going to go over to the delay. Whoops, let's see. Delay. I'm going to push this in. Turn that way down. I'm going to go back to the amp. That's a little trebly for me. Push in. I'm going to take down some of that treble. good to our clean sonic lead to our OD UK 800, I assume this would be a JCM 800. JCM 900. Let's get something weird. TV clean. Lots of tremolo. Crawl. Now you notice the on the uh, expression pedal, it's affecting the effects. affecting the compressor. Let's uh let's put an overdrive in front of that. Go Let's see, and then we'll go eight oh eight. I 
I turned the uh, the amp gain down a little bit. Ambient clean. Blues clean. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's good. So what do I think? I think this is a very, very good sounding unit, especially for $148. I do wish there was, I don't know, some kind of a D-pad or joystick to navigate through the various menus as opposed to the value and mode knobs. However, once you use it for, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you do get used to it. Um, I also like the flexibility of being able to assign the expression pedal to really whatever you want. And I don't know, it's uh, it's cool. This is definitely like a cool travel processor as well. This is definitely small enough to fit inside of a backpack. And finally, if you would like to pick up your own FX100, the nice folks at Flama want to give you guys 10% off uh, if you purchase within the next seven days of the airing of this video. I will link down below in the description to their Amazon page if you're in the United States. And uh, yeah, 10% off an already very inexpensive processor. Pretty good deal. Shout out to Flama for sponsoring this video. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn you get more stuff to watch and also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things so consider uh, checking that out as well if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.